Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Castle Girl. Today, I'm at Findlater Castle. Findlater Castle ruins are situated 50 feet high on a point of rocky land that projects out into the North Sea, overlooking the Moray Firth on the east coast of Aberdeenshire in Scotland, two miles east of the village of Cullen. The promontory is joined to the mainland by a narrow stretch of land which was the main access to the castle. It is perched on sheer cliffs on the three other sides. Finlater is thought to have originated from Fionn Leacher and Gaelic, which translates to White Cliff, as the cliffs here contain quartz. The first fortress on the site dates to the mid-13th century, around 1246. Around 1260, a castle was built by King Alexander III in defence of an anticipated invasion by King Hakon IV of Norway. King Hakon, however, was defeated at the Battle of Largs in 1263. This earlier structure was captured by the Norwegians, but there are no remains of it. The ruins we can see today date back to the mid-14th century, built by Sir John Sinclair, who held the seat at Roslyn Castle. Finlater looks as though it was built based on the same design. In 1455, King James II of Scotland gave licence to Sir Walter Ogilvy to further expand and fortify Finlater. These are the ruins we can see today. The castle was built to expand the entire area of the promontory and stood at a considerable height above it. It would have been accessed by a bridge walkway raised up on a stone causeway. The two gaps on the rock appear to have been crossed by drawbridges. The residents would have been safe from unwelcome visitors. However, the threat of coastal erosion in its vulnerable position would have been of obvious concern. After a pilgrimage to Tate, James V of Scotland visited Finlater Castle in 1535. The Laird of Findlater who was an Ogilvy, and the master of household to Mary of Guise, who was Mary Queen of Scots' mother, lost his inheritance and the castle after being accused of wrongful sexual behaviour with his mother-in-law. He had devised a plan to imprison his father and to drive him into insanity in order to obtain his lands. The castle passed to Sir John Gordon, son of the fourth Earl of Huntley in 1560. In 1562, during the autumn, 
Mary Queen of Scots forces besieged Findlater after the Gordons rose in rebellion against her. The Gordons were defeated on the 28th of October by James Stewart, the first Earl of Moray, at the Battle of Corrigay and Sir John Gordon was executed. Hindlater Castle was then returned to the Bohovi family, but they later abandoned the castle and then moved to the modern residence of Cullen House in the early 1600s. The castle was then left to the mercy of the elements, and there is very little of it left. As the castle sits on such a picturesque location, it is worth the short trek from the car park to view it. The ruins, however, are in a precarious state and you certainly need a sure foot to explore them. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting our castle near you. Bye!